Good morning, happy Monday and today um, I'm really excited because this is something I wanted to do um, when Senatans launched um, the lash kit but as you all know my husband threw half of my lashes so today actually I savaged to see how much I have I think literally 50% <clears throat> is through that's what it is so um, I have waited for the new refills um, but meanwhile, uh, so if you don't know, Senegens uh, partnered with um, Lashify, which is uh, at home DIY lash extension company. And here you get um, your DIY um, lash kit, which we call it as um, Lash Sense Lashes by uh, Senegens powered by Lashify technology. I know it's a big one, but it's totally worth it. I have never tried lashes before this, but it's really, really easy obviously there is a learning curve um, i'm not saying that okay um, it's like you will get it in the first go itself it's because like i said it's not with how you apply it's with um, the hand-eye coordination and finding what is the right one that you liked it so basically it comes with um, the style is called plumeria so this is a bloom box so um this is the blooming bond like the uh, lash bloom and it comes with the applicator and it comes with three different um uh, florets so it has um 10 of short 10 of medium and 10 of long senegens also <coughs> uh, introduced these lash florets refills so i got them because that way i can show you different looks so each box you will be able to pick um, either one for example you can buy one shot or this box comes with four shots so you can buy uh, whether you want just the shots just the medium or um, the large or you can always get um, the blooming box which has all the um, all different types of it so um, the one I already created I have used a mix of all of them I have used um, a short medium and then large but what I wanted to show is I'm going to show you um, just all short today um, similar way I'm going to create all mediums and all large so that you can see how they differ from each other when you do um, just as one um, since it's going to be 10 florets in each you will be able to um, apply and stack them more as you like so that's what we are going to learn today the first step is i'm just um taking witch hazel just make sure to uh, clean the eyelashes so that there is no um, oil in them because when we apply skincare or anything there may be a chance that um, the products can have a little bit of oil so i'm just making sure to um, wipe it and i'm going to comb the lashes first so that it's separate and uh, then we'll go with the blooming bond to apply these are like simple steps but makes a huge difference when you do so the next one is i'm going to apply the blooming bond which is the um glue here it's almost like a mascara but you don't want to go heavy handed you are just going to try applying to the lower lashes i mean at the roots and just gently coat the lashes you don't want to uh, go heavy handed and if you feel like your lashes are um, sticking to each other you can use a lash comb so that you can separate them so because this is where your uh, um, your uh, florets are going to uh, stick so you don't want them to clump and um, stick to each other so make sure to separate them before you go with the lashes here you don't have to um, have to do too quick because um, it's going to become tacky in 30 seconds but it stays that way for quite a while so you can take time to do that so what I'm doing is now I'm just gently pressing it underneath the roots alone because that's where we are going to um, stick the lashes right so like a cushion I'm just creating underneath alone so now the next step is starting with the lashes the best way to do is have a mirror um, so that you can look down and do that's easier um, to do it so 
we are going to do all shorts today so that's what um i wanted to wear because this is i i my i'm assuming this is going to be <coughs> looking more um closer to my natural lashes and yes it gives a thicker look so i have taken a small floret so the way you are going to hold this so you have um a clamping motion so i'm just holding it this way so that when i look down like this i can place wherever i want the good thing is even if you make a mistake you will be able to take it out and place it again that's the beauty of it so here i like where i placed it so i'm going to just press it to the inner lashes so you can see this is where i am starting so for the next one what i'm going to do is instead of keeping next to it i'm going to overlap um so that way it will give um like a thicker uh, look to do that what you're going to do is you're going to touch a little bit of booming bond in the florets directly that way it gets extra hold i know i when i hold the mirror i don't want it to hide it so that's what i'm trying to see do you see so that way i have kept them little closer to each other and i'm just pressing it i'm not um what is it like i'm not locking them all at once now because until i'm happy with the placement i'm not um making it tight instead i'm just pressing it a little bit so that it can hold until i finish all of them when you are placing um the florets your aim is to um keep them little bit far away from your natural waterline that way your waterline can still breathe and grow as well um that's the beauty of it because they have made sure that they have designed it in such a way that these florets even though they are um in your eyes for like um you can leave them once you get hang of it you can leave it even up to a week or 10 days based on um your humidity your uh, um sweat and uh, um the way you have placed it right um it should last longer i would say um for me um the first florets i have used more than uh, four times or so and it still holds good so once you practice them i feel like for your special day you will be able to do uh, the previous day itself so that you don't have to worry and it will be there when you get up in the morning and i was telling the other day like one of my friend who's um daughter who uh, performs often so she was saying like on the day of the performance it's really hard because um everybody is tense and so many things goes on and uh, like few things you cannot do um the previous day and i feel like this will really be helpful because that way it is like um on the day of performance they can concentrate on the makeup and uh, the lashes are already that see do you see um this one did not stick so i'm going to apply a little bit of i think uh, it's like how we call uh, because whenever i wear um makeup or even talk and do people will always be asking like how do you practice that like i mean <laughs> i think it's similar to that like very first time when i apply i was like concentrating so well like because i didn't want to mess up or i didn't i didn't know like because what is the best angle to record all those kind of stuff um then once you have um the hold up how to do it i think it becomes easier so because you will be able to do it parallel like i mean anything to do in parallel is not easy um for example even while applying mascara the tendency to do is um if you watch anyone it's like you naturally open your mouth so to avoid that and then um make your brain um understand that 
it has to do both it's like another mastering a technique so you can see even with small it shows a huge difference i um opened my um new small floret that way um i know i have enough to um stack them um because um sometimes you don't have to have um you don't have to have like um longer ones for uh, the dramatic look you can use even um the short and still have that look i think this will be my last one yeah i really like actually i thought um this one would be almost my size so it's like it's so customizable on how much you need and how dramatic you need i just used the maximum from here to here because i wanted it to show up do you see um the difference between this and this because um that's my aim uh, for you to see because um that way you can know how much you need to do so here i'm going to start sealing them so for that you are just going to start pressing it along with your natural lashes the applicator is designed very well you can see i can keep it on my nose and i will be able to do right or left whichever way i feel it comfortable so that is the main part like i mean you can find whichever is comfortable for you and then do it for example for me uh, this side i i like this to hold it this way so i can infuse a little at a time and when something is struck i'm not pulling like very high i take time because it will release by itself if you keep blinking so don't try to <laughs> pull it if it gets stuck give it a few seconds and wipe it every time because obviously the glue you have applied it all over like a mascara right so that's what is trying to hold it so um once you uh, seal all the way in it's going it's all done so this is called fusing that means you are literally sealing it all the way i am going to try sealing the front part and hold it for few seconds and uh, i'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side and then i will show the final look of it so since i didn't talk <laughs> on record i was able to do this side quick i haven't sealed it so this side if, if you see being a right hander i was doing it um the sealing part from this side but i feel like um even for um the other side i will be able to do from here itself so um that is um why this applicator been uh, designed um to work both ways so whether you are a right hander or left hander you will be able to uh, seal them from both ends so um it's not like you need to do the same way on both sides and uh, you can see um i really like um how the small looks on me so i'm just sealing it few seconds and it's good to go that's all it's so when i release i take time so this is the finished look of a uh, small um i have kept almost uh, seven florets on each side you don't have to you can even do with four or five because it depends on your eye shape and as well as how you want it to be so you can see um they call it the lash curl <laughs> so you can see how it looks on me and um like i said um only the first 24 hours you have to be careful like you don't put um water directly on your lashes so if you're washing your face make sure you do um this way separately and this way and just wipe it off and then you will be able to good to go so i hope you liked it if you have any questions feel free to ask me sorry it's not la lash curl it's lash cleavage <laughs> So that's how we started out Monday morning and I have um one more thing to do so I'm going to do that and record it um and then come back and see you guys